Welcome back to another episode of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm going to be talking about the song from season three, directed by Richard Thomas. Richard didn't have a lot of scenes in this episode, which made it a perfect one for him to be directing because he didn't have to be splitting his focus too often during the episode. I watched it and was looking for the various different directing choices that Richard made. And there were some things that uh, just, to me, had his stamp on them. There were several times when he created an interaction between the brothers and sisters, between him and Ben early on in the episode, and then later with him and Jason, and the kids teasing each other. And that, to me, very much spoke of Richard's sensibilities regarding having action and interaction and a sense of ad lib that things weren't too staged or or scripted despite the fact that pretty much everything would have been scripted but it seems to me that here we had a little bit of freedom with some ad libs here and there in these scenes so i loved watching richard bring the dynamics of the family to life from his viewpoint as a director and also from his viewpoint within the family as a member of the Waltons. I found this early shot of Ben and Jason interesting. Uh, nowadays, if you're, I don't know if you're familiar with what's called a steady cam, but it allows shots to be taken over rough ground and for the camera to absorb that motion so things look very smooth. Here, most likely they laid what we call dolly tracks. So it's sort of like mini railroad tracks with wood and then uh, the dolly that the camera sits on will glide along on these, on these um, wooden platforms. So it's a little bit bumpier here than you might see in some of the typical scenes nowadays. Another couple of examples of Richard infusing humor into this episode via his direction. Hi. At another point in the episode, John Boy and John share a light moment as they kid about how Jason isn't in love with Sally Ann, but he likes her, he thinks she's fun, he thinks she's a good kisser, but he's not in love with her. I don't know, Jason. Sally Ann look kind of interested in each other at the supper table tonight. Oh, well, sure. She is cute. She's fun. She sings good. We have a good time together. She kisses good. But he don't like her. No, he don't like her. <laughs> All these scenes in the barn, when uh, Bobby Bigelow's band is playing, both in rehearsal and then for his live performance on the radio, these were all filmed on a sound stage. So when you see people enter this barn, you see outside there's dirt and there's various different things that give the illusion of it being outdoors. But they're much more able to control sound and lighting with this being inside a sound stage. I loved this in the pool hall. The, um, the Walton men, John and Grandpa, are participating in a pool tournament, much to the chagrin and uh, against uh, the wishes of Grandma and Olivia, who both think that a pool tournament and gambling is just not proper to be done. In this particular case, as the shots are being taken, you see where one of the actors has his arm around a mannequin, as if it's his date. I love this choice. Probably guided by Richard as a director and his his sense of creating some fun there as the men are playing pool. These shots in the Walton barn would have been shot on the back lot because that barn on the back lot was what we called a practical set. In other words, we used the actual existing barn that was built and we just shot inside it. Here in this particular scene, I love how Richard has brought in Blue looking oh so scruffy and even Chance, the cow lying down that it creates that sense that we are in the barn. Sometimes in scenes in the barn, you don't see the animals. It was obviously much easier and more budget friendly to not have the animals appear because any day the animals appeared, 
they would have had to pay the wranglers, the owners, for the use of those animals. But in this case, Richard chose to have these animals to substantiate that sense that we were actually in the Walton barn where these animals would indeed live. Speaking of Blue, later in the episode, you actually see Grandpa riding Blue. I don't think we saw him ride Blue very often, but here he is in his suit heading off to, uh, to see the live performance that's going out on the radio that Jason is performing in. And he is riding Blue because that's his form of transportation to get there. Ben, Jason, and Sally Ann Harper have a bit of a love triangle that comes into play in this episode. Ben is in love with Sally Ann. He convinces Jason to have her sing a duet that he has written on the live performance of Bobby Bigelow's Hayseed Gang performance. Well, Jason and Sally Ann get very caught up in creating this song and rehearsing it and the fun of it and fancy themselves romantically connected and they even share a kiss, which really hurts Ben because he feels that he's the one. It was all his idea. And now Jason is stepping in and cutting across this relationship that Ben is trying to build. It all works out in the end, as often is the case with the Waltons. Jason didn't understand how Ben felt, he talks to Sally Ann, and it all gets worked out. Sally Ann Harper is played by actress Erin Moran, who you might recognize from Happy Days as Joni. It was wonderful to have Erin as a guest star on The Waltons. She was lovely. I knew Erin for many years and would cross paths with her at various different celebrity functions. Sweet, sweet girl. And in this particular episode, she also sings, and that is her doing her own singing on this song that John Walmsley actually did write and, of course, performed as well. The episode culminates with what is equivalent to a sort of a barn dance with live music by Bobby Bigelow and the Hayseed Gang. Bobby Bigelow was played by actor, singer Maeve Nutter. We had some lovely guest stars in this episode that were only briefly featured. I mentioned Aaron Moran, who was our guest star, but also Wilford Brimley had a cameo, as did Mary Jo Catlett. We did quite a lot of dancing on the Waltons. Here's another case of uh, me dancing with Richard. He was the one, John Boy was the one who taught me to dance, supposedly, in the um, Easter story when I was going to go to the dance with GW. And here we are once again pokeing and uh, inventing who knows what steps <laughs> as we dance at, uh, at the barn dance. That's what I have for you for this segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons, the episode, The Song. If you're enjoying these, please do like and subscribe. And if you'd like to know when I'm going to post another one, hit that notification bell. I'll be back with more Behind the Scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy where I answer your questions. So keep posting them in those comments. Thanks for watching.